<clears throat> well, hello there. This is Matthew the Manuel Perry. How you all doing, folks? And yes, finally, we actually got a day. That's hopefully it's not going to rain. I just hope so because, man, it's, if it's going to rain, I just hope it doesn't rain long enough that I can still do a video and yeah. <clears throat> the video is about uh, Liz Gang and the New Zealand World pa Party. The reason why, because I actually had watched the video about her policy overview, and <clears throat> and yes, and tonight I may not actually I don't have confidence of her getting it or something though. If she actually did reach the five percent threshold, so that is an achievement for. Or any party, because man, yeah, what? <coughs> yes, because yeah, with Labour National, though, man, yeah, <coughs> they actually, yeah, they're towing the W, yeah, WEF, yeah, the line, yeah, the WEF line, yes, the World Economic Forum line, yeah, they're towing that. Yeah, trying to accomplish their agendas and that, it's just, yeah, it's just. And I have watched her, and also I have watched, well, so yeah, I have watched it through a point where when he, when he was actually getting a point of view on what she's saying, so, I, and also I have watched, uh, Across the river con as well, what's his view on her and yeah <clears throat> Yeah, so even that <clears throat> Yeah, I'm still going still going to go overseas because to know Because yes Chances of either labor or natural getting it is still high you know i'm so confident national will get in of course yeah i think here yeah, became prime minister of course yeah chris luxon of course got confidence of him becoming prime minister of course and yeah and of course he will be tying in the world economic line as well yeah the party line <clears throat> and accomplishing the agenda and that and yes with this gun and yet and yes she did talk about co-governments and did mention about Julia Bachelor. And it'll be awesome if she does have an interview with uh, Julia Bachelor. It'll be awesome. <clears throat> and yes and Oh, yeah, even if she does become Prime Minister, she still got <clears throat> Yeah, she still got to get rid of the system because if she, if she doesn't get rid of the system, it is making the same mistake what Trump had done <clears throat> Yeah, because he said he was going to drain the swamp, but she didn't I mean, if she does it, she means she had to really get rid of the system and drain the swamp, literally that should be the first provider is to get rid of the system because man the system is corrupt and it also pull out of the the United Nations to work uh, yeah the world North for and the World Health Organization the New Zealand needs to pull out of that all countries should pull out of that as well because man the union is now corrupt and yeah <clears throat> And also, yeah, yeah, and also get out of those climate, yeah, climate policies, though, the stupid climate policy, which she did say as well, and yeah, and that's good, and <clears throat> and also back farmers as well, and to know, finally has someone that I can vote for, yes, because, like, for like in the first half of this year I just have no confidence who I'm going to vote I just have no confidence because it's it's either going to be Chris Hickson or Chris Luxon 
Yeah. <clears throat> I just hope for like the first time, like say like it. 88 years that we haven't have either Labour or National. Yeah. Because, yeah. Because, yeah, yeah, we're in Labour. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, the first Labour there was since 1935. Yeah, that's that's almost like 88 years ago when Labour, yeah, when the Labour Party first. Yeah, <coughs> yeah. I think it was Joseph Thompson coming and remembering his name. That was the Prime Minister, Labour Prime Minister. Yes. And to look like it's gone to wane, yeah. It's just like it doesn't seem to want to stop, yeah. The weather has been so ferocious. It's, it, no, it's been just annoying. Well, it, <clears throat> it's just like mud. It's just actually us. We're just because we're just getting too much rain. <clears throat> Not enough sunlight though, and it was just absolutely oh man, with the way the weather's going now. And yes, folks, uh, I encourage that you should probably watch the Les Guns video and that though. And also, there's another thing though. Yep. There's a uh, big decay guys caught as well, and yeah, I think that's with the election thing as well. He says being dishonest and that, and you yeah, do go and watch big decay as well, and and yes, he was like trying to become prime minister back in the last election. That didn't work as well because yeah, the system, yeah, the election was rigged. Yeah, so even always going to be labor or national because yeah. <clears throat> and also the way the media promotes the party. If the if the media if the one party's getting more media uh, media attention than others, you know who's actually gonna win. Yeah. So that's why I don't have confidence on New Zealand law getting in. But who knows? <clears throat> it could be a thing, it could be a thing. Yes, and also, yeah, with BDK, he should also have Joy a Bachelor on this show. Hey, I'm going to probably say to you, B, uh, Billy T. Kikika, I actually encourage you to have Joy a Bachelor on the show to talk about the code government and the main shepherdess. Because the code government needs to stop as well, and. <clears throat> yeah, and. If the co government nursery becomes a thing here in New Zealand, man, it's going to be absolutely chaos here in New Zealand. It's, man, it is more like going to be a civil war in this country, though, folks. Since like 1840, yeah, since before 1840, something you've never seen before, and yet, because they had that war, though, yeah, and that's when the pop Maori population back then was 150,000. And it was half down, more than half down to 70,000. And yet, when the British had signed, yet got the treaty in, the Treaty of Italian. And to know, ever since the Murray population had increased like 13 to 14 fold, the Murray population had increased. So they are doing well under the <laughs> crying lizard dog. Yet yeah, the Murray's doing pretty well. It had increased 13 to 14 fold since that. <clears throat> if you don't, don't know what I think I'm talking about, you should look it up and do your research before 1840, before the Treaty of Waitangi, and you'll, you'll get what I mean. So, man. <clears throat> and I know, well, here's my request for either, uh, yeah. No, both Liz Gunn and BTK. Man, <laughs> you should have Joy the Bachelor on your show. So you all have an interview so you can get your point of view across. And also, BK should actually also have Liz Gunn on your show as well so you can talk about the things as well. Yeah, so you can all have a talk. So you can all get the point of view across. And, and that's all I gotta say. I think that's all I had to say now. 
I don't think I got any more to say though. Having in that look like it's gonna rain though. It's like it doesn't seem to want to stop here. Well folks, this is Matthew the Mineral Key I'll say. Let's talk to each other, let's share ideas <coughs> and let's put into practice and let's build great things. Yes, let's build great things. And that's all I gotta say for now. It's Matthew the Millennial Kiwi signing off, over and out.